go to and help us to get to the long-term vision. We'll have the long-term vision and then be able to communicate what our action plan is in the short term, in the next year, in the next month, in order to achieve the objectives that go towards that long-term vision. Makes long-term strategy plans into short-term financial plans. So remember that we do have, again, that long-term type of vision. What we're trying to do is take that long-term vision, which is something that's going to be uh, seem like it's not obtainable really in the immediate present, of course, because it's a long-term vision. We need to break that down into immediate strategies, financial strategies, because financial strategies are those that we can measure easily. <laughs> and so we want to break down those long-term vision into the strategies that people can then focus in on, work towards within a specific time period, within the framework of the long-term vision. Provides a benchmark for evaluation. So of course, we're gonna take the budgeted numbers and then we're gonna run the process and look at the actual numbers and we'll have the comparison of the budgeted numbers to the actual numbers. We need to have that benchmark because if we do not have that benchmark, then people don't have anything really to shoot for. There's no way to evaluate how well people did. As we put that benchmark in place, of course, we need to be careful that we don't make the benchmark too low, too easy for people to clear, not too high so that it kind of discourages people we want to basically set the appropriate type of benchmark that's enough that it's challenging, but hopefully achievable, and therefore uh, that will inspire people. And of course, then once the uh, actual numbers happen, once the time period has passed, we'll do that comparison, we'll do that evaluation. Motivates employees through participation. Remember that the, the budgeting process should be a bottom-up type process, especially more and more for larger types of companies, given the fact that we're going to have to get the numbers, the data from the departments. So the departments are going to have to provide that information logistically. And it's also going to be a great opportunity for us to communicate uh, with other people in the organization. If we have the more communication in the process of the creation of the budget, focusing in on the process, when uh, we're, we're aligning and leading the budgeting process, meaning the focus isn't so much from the leaders on making the actual decision themselves, but in making sure that the process is in alignment so that the decision can be made well, so that everybody communicates within that decision. Once the budget has then been created, then that process of the creation and the decision making is basically done at that point and now the budget is is over it's a roadmap now now the communication is going to be there to communicate what the goals and objectives that have been decided on are through the budget so remember that the budget why budget the process is going to be promote future focus analysis thought and direction for the organization communicates the plan to the organization makes long-term strategic plans into short-term financial plans provides benchmark for evaluation and motivates employees through participation.